let us discuss about uh, the equivalent lateral force procedure IBC 2021, BCP 2021 and uh, ASC 7 dash 16. In the equivalent lateral force procedure, the very first step is to establish the fundamental period of your structure. right? Uh, we know now that uh, uh, we can calculate the time period or first mode time period of the building using modal analysis, using eigenvalue analysis, right? Uh, but uh, if you go through the detailed development and history of ELF procedure, you will see that mostly it had remained uh, an empirical procedure, right? So, we started with for example, uh, base shear equal to 0.1 times the weight of the building because the basic idea of this procedure is that you can calculate a set of loading which can represent your future earthquake and then you apply those loading as static loading to your structure in lateral direction and design your structure that will become your seismic design. right? So, we started with a very crude representation of what those representative forces uh, should be uh, which should be applied to your, your structure as a representative of future ground shaking or future earthquake. So, uh, initially there was not much dynamics involved in this method. It was essentially an empirical procedure in the start, but then as the, the field grow we in included several of the factors which are based on or which are rooted in the dynamics of the building. right? So, initially uh, we have to establish a fundamental period of a structure and uh, there are empirical expressions available to calculate the approximate time period, but then there is a provision available th that if you already have calculated the, the time period from modal analysis, the actual first mode time period then you can uh, there is a provision which can accommodate that actual time period also. So, let us represent T A as the approximate lower bound period which is uh, based on the actual measured response of the structure. So, T A expression is provided by uh, building code uh, and that expression is formulated empirically based on several experimental results or measured response of the buildings in high seismic zones. right? So, for T A, uh, ASC 7-16 provide three expressions. First is this one C T factor times h raised to power x, where both C T and x are uh, the functions of structural system and there is a table available, where you can select your structural system and then get the C T and x value. So, these are empirical modifiers. Alternatively, you can use 0.1 times number of stories, but that is only when you have a structure with concrete and steel moment resisting frame uh, with a story height greater than or equal to 10 feet and the number of stories is less than 12. right? And the third expression is this one, it is for masonry or concrete shear wall structures. right? So, the properties of uh, those shear walls, the dimensions, length and web area is used in that expression to calculate T A. right? So, you use uh, either this expression 1 or you can use if it is applicable to you, you can use the expression 2 or for shear wall structures, you can go for T A, the third expression. Now, there is another thing that uh, there is an upper limit on that T A also and that is C u times T a. C u is a factor which is greater than 1 and uh, it will describe the upper limit, upper bound time period and it is uh, the C u factor is proposed in building code which is based on the best fit of measured response and is adjusted for the local seismicity also. The use of this upper limit will be there if you want to use the actual time period which is coming from the modal analysis. right? So, there are three time periods. One is T A, which is approximate time period calculated from the empirical expression. Another T, which is coming from the modal analysis, the actual first mode time period based on your M matrix and K matrix that is called T computed. And there is an upper limit on T A, which is C U times T A. right? So, there are three time periods and I will explain in next slide how you will use 
any of these in what case first just check that for calculating the approximate time period this is the table for uh, the, that c t factor and x factor if you have steel moment resisting frame concrete moment resisting frame steel eccentrically braced frame and then finally for any other structure so these values they can be used as c t and x the values in the parenthesis they are in metric units the other values are in the u s customary units so you can put that in the expression and get t a now if your t computed which is coming from the modal analysis eigen value analysis or ritz analysis if it is not available you haven't run the modal analysis first then you don't have any option just use ta empirical time period right if you have that t computed with you then there can be three possibilities one is that your t computed is greater than the upper limit then use that upper limit right if your t t computed is between the approximate empirical time period and the upper limit then use the t computed right and then if your t computed is already less than ta then use ta right so for example i calculate the approximate time period from the empirical expression and let's say it come out to be 0.1 second right then i run the modal analysis and i came to know that the actual time period is 0.5 second right in if t computed is available then i will go to the upper limit because it is already greater than my ta so i will calculate cu ta and cu i will pick from this table 12.8-1 and based on the sd1 value i will pick the modifier right so let's say my cu is 1.5 right so then i will calculate cu ta and it will be 0.5 uh, one times 1.5 it will be what 0.15 right so now i have an upper limit 0.15 and the actual time period is 0.5 second so i'll be using 0.15 the upper limit right because this first first scenario will be applicable in this case right so that's how you will decide which time period you should use for further step 2 step 3 step 4 for example right so step 1 is clear how you compute the or establish the time period of your building right